<laughs> Girl, look how big this is. Yeah. Um, yeah, you're taught to believe that clean eating and stuff like that is the way to go. Mmm. Well, oh, I hope that is. Damn. Ha ha ha. What is happening YouTube? It is Angus of Boss Fitness and really hope that you've had an amazing, well, last month and a bit. As you would have noticed, I've been away. And for those of you who are questioning what's been going on there, if you haven't been following me on social, which is available at the links below, I've been traveling and I also lost my camera. <laughs> so I'll tell you what was the story there, but I've been traveling, I've been going to, um, I'll, I've returned back in my hometown of Australia. But I've been traveling, I've been to the UK, I was visiting Scotland and Castle Douglas, um, I was visiting Glasgow, Dalbeatty and Edinburgh and also a bit of Liverpool which was awesome. Um, what was really really interesting was that the, the sun was up at about 4.30 and didn't actually go down until about 10 which was absolutely insane. Um, and then I went to a whole different bunch of states around the US and bought some awesome food including, ah, which I'm going to be eating some of later on. But um, yeah, it was absolutely fantastic. And I would have absolutely brought my camera with me um, to be able to take some sick footage and potentially do some vlogging. But interesting story is that I was actually filming, no, I wasn't filming, I was uh, taking some photos for one of my friends. He um, recently had, his, had a little son who's six months old. He wanted to do a cool little photo shoot, so I brought my camera with me, as well as my iPhone. So we're taking some happy snaps, and I was like, oh, with how bright it is and stuff like that, my camera wasn't really doing a good job. So I put it on the ground right and basically what happened was that I then popped out my iPhone so I was taking some sick portrait photos with my iPhone you know da, 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 taking some photos and you know we smashed it got a whole heap of cool little flicks um, and lovely sick happy snaps and then he was like cool let's go get a feed and I didn't I'd actually forgotten that I put the camera on the ground um, and entirely forgotten about it because it was like cool took some games we went to Nando's and um, yeah, just took straight off and I'd forgotten that I actually had my camera on the floor. Whoops, so I bought this cool new one, Sony Alpha A5100. I'm absolutely in love with it, it's great. And um, yeah, so I expect lots of cool more videos to come. I'm gonna be placing priority upon you guys and making at least one video a week. Obviously focusing around aspects of, well, you know, nutrition and cool eating sort of stuff, full day of eating, vlogging, my training, um, answering questions, doing some live streams here and there. So get excited for all that's gonna be happening within the channel. Um, and yeah, so the plan for this video is that I'm gonna be having, um, We'll see, I might eat one of these suckers. We might eat two, we'll see how we go. But I bought this in uh, New York, um, I think it was. And um, yeah, it was New York at Times Square in the Hershey's world. And um, yeah, absolutely awesome place it was. Really, really cool to see Eminem World and stuff like that. And go to Disneyland and just cruise around and be a tourist for a good month. And, um, all, and eat heaps of sick food, which was absolutely amazing. Um, solo travel, so I didn't have anyone to you know relay things by or anything like that. But um, yeah, it was great. So for the rest of this video, what I'm gonna be doing is basically mulling away on one of these peanut butter cups. Maybe the other one we'll see. But I'm gonna be sharing with you, um, you know, I guess how I started in flexible dieting and some key tips that I guess have made it so effective for me to be able to stick to in the long run. So the footage that you're gonna be seeing is from me doing a live stream through my uh, through my phone, I'm going to be doing a live stream for Facebook at the same time as this. So, you know, obviously, if you're on my social media, whether it be Facebook or Instagram or whatever, you'll be seeing it first. YouTube, you guys are seeing it last. So, um, let's have some fun with it. Uh, obviously, you know, you'll hear me answering some questions and stuff for people that are seeing this live. And um, yeah, really looking forward to rocking it. <laughs> obviously, a bit off the cuff, but you know, I like it when it's raw and real. So, let's take the peanut butter cups. Let's give you guys some insight and enjoy the rest of the video around the world. So, let's get into it, hey? So while I'm eating, we're going to talk about first as to why I left standard dieting as a PT, right? So uh, I started as a PT in 2011, um, back in the good old days when I was 21. Holy shit, this is big. Um, and um, yeah, like most uh, PTs and stuff like that, you know, you're kind of taught to just endorse and roll with the fact that clean eating is number one, you must just eat a metric chocolate of fruits and vegetables, um, you know, sugar is bad, rah, rah. Man, this is heavy. <laughs> there we go, look how big this is. Damn. Um, yeah, you're taught to believe that clean eating and stuff like that is the way to go. And um, just a whole lot of just bro stuff, as I call it, right? So the reason why I left that all behind was because I realized, oh man, because I realized that, I'm gonna take a bite first, here we go, let's see how this looks. Mmm, well, I hope that is. Damn. Ha ha ha. Lord have mercy on us all. Damn, it's nice. 
But yeah, so, mmm, far out. Look at that. That is glorious. So the reason why I left all that behind was because I realized that I wasn't getting, um, you know, clients the best possible results that they could get. Mmm. I realized that there was holes in the system. I realized that it wasn't really solving people's problems and that it was only getting them so far. And I was also realizing that even in my own physique, I had plateaued and I didn't know how to be able to actually change it. So the way that I changed it was leaving it all behind and went on a bit of a search to try and find, um, I guess, what I could do um, to be able to take things to the next level. That's about half of it done. <laughs> so basically what I did was that I was trying a whole heap of different things. Man, it's hard to talk at the same time. <laughs> I um, he was trying a whole heap of different things. So on Ricky, how you doing brother? Kylie, how are you? I um, was trying a whole heap of different things. Wasn't getting anywhere with them. Tried a whole heap of different supplements and stuff like that. Got into Juice Plus and other various network marketing companies and stuff like that. Um, you know, just to try and find what I could could do to try and bridge the gap, right? So, um, and by bridge the gap, I mean like, you know, get me from just skinny fat-ish to, look at this, it's still, it's, it's just beautiful. Get me from a skinny fat-ish rig to, you know, lean aesthetics and stuff like that. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. So now I just got a flexible dieting, right? It was on Facebook and social media. I can't remember who it was, but someone was saying that you could, um, you know, get lean and stuff like that from, um, <laughs> yeah, Helen, was that you could get, uh, you know, lean from eating cake and including stuff like that in your day-to-day -day eating. I was like, bullshit, no, you can't. So at the start, I was very skeptical of it, right? Mm -mm. I was very skeptical. I was like, yeah, no way that can work. Bullshit, all right? All that sort of stuff was my standard thinking. Now, obviously Facebook, as you guys have probably met, probably seen, right, is that uh, Facebook kind of picks up that you like certain things and it will show you more of it, yeah? So this is what Facebook was doing to me with um, this flexible dieting stuff. And it was showing me more and more of your stuff. Hey Matt. Hey Jamie, James, man, what's going on, brother? He was showing me more and more of this stuff. And then gradually, given the fact that I was just in such a place of, man, like, just, I can't get anywhere. Maybe flexible dieting is my last hope, that sort of thing. <laughs> hey, Kim. And basically, yeah, I gave into it. I tried it for myself. I wasn't successful with it right away because I didn't properly understand how macros work, how micros work, all that sort of stuff. So I actually stuffed up for a while, right? I, um, let's go, tissue. Yeah, I stuffed up for a while. Then after those few months, I um, basically paid someone to teach me so I can understand it properly. And then once it all sunk in, it was just like, you know, off the Matrix, how Neo, he, um, you know, once he kind of just realizes that he's the one or whatever, he's just like, oh man, all these powers. And he can do sick tricks and he can bend backwards and do all sorts of cool gear. It was as if it was like that. For when it all first made sense. And then I was able to finally get consistency with something and that consistency was in my intake. Hey Nick, hey Daniel, how you doing brother? Um, Mmm, this is so sweet. Man, awesome. Um, hey Candice. And I was finally able to get consistency happening, right? And as soon as that consistency kept on, I saw my physique change before my eyes. Before I knew it, I started competing. Competed in like three different bodybuilding comps. Came second in one of my comps, like fifth in another. 
So I did pretty well. If you want to see some pics, let me know. And, you know, ever since, I guess, like, from all of that, it gave me the certainty within this that there's, yeah, there's, there's nothing within me that's going to, I guess, give me any reason to go back to old way of thinking and old way that I used to associate with food, which was, you know, like, just... I didn't have a good relationship with food, let's just put it that way, right? And I had a skinny fat rig and I had no idea how to change it. So I put it down to flexible dieting and developing a real love for food that enabled me to really be able to take where I was to just an awesome rig and being able to get next level results for clients as well through all this stuff that changed my life. So what I want to do now as I finish up this one, you share with you guys, I guess some of my big tips, let's say top five that have enabled me to be able to, I guess, allow um, this lifestyle and way of eating to be able to change, you know, I'm just going to be able to truly change my life. Um, and, you know, for it to not be some sort of, oh, there you go, see, all done. And for it to not be some sort of fling or whatever, right? Because um, for a lot of us, right? We, that was just Simba who was trying to eat the rubbish. <laughs> hey, get out. Get out. Um, for a lot of us, you know, we stick to things for a couple of weeks. It gets too hard, rah, 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 life gets in the way and we quit, right? I don't think I'm going to be able to eat all this other one, but I'm going to try and eat a bit of it. So, yeah, life gets in the way. You make excuses. The goals aren't priority anymore. It's too hard, rah, rah, rah. And we quit, right? So flexible dieting has been one of the main things that's allowed me to be so consistent and then that's then had a ripple effect into my training and stuff like that as well. So, mm -mm. tip number one is that I don't see food as good or bad anymore, right? Most people would see peanut butter cups, right, of any size as bad because they've got a lot of calories in them, right? So a lot of fat, decent amount of sugar, and that sort of stuff, right? Whereas me, I don't see this as bad. Yes, it's refined food and whatever, right? And, um, you know, all that sort of stuff. But the thing is, is that my body can use, and your body can even use, if you're gonna eat some peanut butter cups, your body can use the calories the macros and whatever from peanut butter cups just as much as it can from anything else, right? Obviously because it's refined, the energy from it isn't going to last too long because it's not very complex or whatever, it's quite simple. So, you know, like, do I eat peanut butter cups like this often? <laughs> no, right? I eat like a few little ones here and there, but for the sake of this video and the fact that I just wanted to get these eaten because I got them while I was in um, USA, right? Um, I just want to get through these nice and quick and then they're done and then, you know, whatever, right? So, I don't see food as good, as good or bad anymore. This has been massive for me to be able to, um, you know, just be in a, in a great headspace of food and not feel any impulse to want to be able to just binge on the shit, um, you know, or anything like that. Give us a heart if you reckon I should eat the rest of this one. Because we're getting pretty full now. But if we see some hearts coming through and some love, <laughs> I'll push for the whole thing. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a big one for me. Not seeing food as good or bad anymore, but rather just bad quantities because truth be told, you can get sick from too much of anything, right? Number two is that one of the big things that's allowed me to be consistent and just love the journey so much is to ensure that I've got awesome variety in my food choices from the day to day, right? Hi, my man, what's going on, brother? So by variety, I mean, not eating the same shit every day. By variety, there we go. By variety, I mean, like, by variety, I mean, you know, um, going out for meals here and there rather than just making all meals by myself. Like, you get the picture, yeah? Variety is one of our emotional human needs. So for a lot of us, right? If we were on a diet, hey Nick, um, or following like a basic meal plan, 
variety isn't there, right? It's eat this, don't eat this, eat at these times or whatever. And it's really, really hard to stick to them in the long run, right? And this is why a lot of people, because there isn't that variety, they stuff up and they binge and they, you know, YOLO on their meal plan, right? NATO Meals, the man, how are ya? So variety has been a big one, right? Daily, having variety in my food choices. Number three is that I don't stress about when to eat, right? Like if it's a training day, for example, right? My first meal might be like 5 a.m., 6 a.m., something like that. If it's a rest day, sometimes I might not eat until two o'clock because I'm intermittent fasting. See what I mean? So it's like, I find that a lot of people also start to overcomplicate things when they try and eat at specific times every day, whatever. Um, when they try and, um, you know, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, whatever, all this sort of stuff, absolutely necessary, right? Me. I eat whatever I want on any day. And obviously where a lot of the power comes from is that moderation aspect, right? If I ate this every day, I would get sick. I wouldn't be able to perform as good as I do. I wouldn't be able to have epic vitality and stuff like that. So obviously, you know, I don't eat a shitload of sugar, but I eat some, right? 30% of my intake is devoted to food like this, like nutrient poor food, hey Paul and the remaining percent, 70% or so, is devoted to nutrient-rich foods that are gonna fuel me from a vitality perspective, give me energy, <clears throat> pardon me, make sure I don't get sick and allow me to live a long, healthy life. See what I mean? Now, number four as well is I don't build results on routine, I build results on choice, right? For a lot of us, I find that we fall off the wagon, all this sort of stuff, right? We fall off the wagon because we're out of routine. Whereas if you're building your results off of choice, which is that you know every day you're in control of your choices and actions, right? Hey Liam, and that you are you know consciously choosing when you want to eat your foods to meet your intake and when you're going to lift, do your workouts and stuff like that. Well, you're going to be fine, right? Because that means that in irrespective of your location and wherever you are. It means that you're setting yourself up for success to be able to make gains, make progress, even if you're traveling or whatever, right? When I went traveling, you know, I, every day I ate different stuff. Every single day I was out buying food, whatever, right? I was fairly consistent with my intake. It dropped a little bit because I didn't quite, um, you know, I wasn't able to lift each day because it was really hard to source gyms. Yeah, Louise. And, um, you know, so naturally I had to adjust my intake, but every single day, well, that we're nearly done, troops, every single day, I was making choices and I wasn't getting, res and, you know, I wasn't building my results based off of, you know, some rigid meal plan or whatever, right? So build your results off of choice, not routine. You don't want to rely on routine because your, your routine isn't going to be the same all the time, right? And last but not least is that perception is reality, right? So if you've got a shit perception around tracking your food or doing workouts or that it's hard to get a pillow to go and lift or just whatever it may be, well, that's going to be your reality, right? So for me, I'm so careful of my perceptions around certain things. There we go. So I'm so careful of my perception around food because I want to make sure that my attitude and my beliefs and my choices around it reflect that, right? So say, for example, for me, my perception around tracking food, right? Using apps like MyFitnessPal and stuff like that. Um, pardon me. Um, I'm careful to make sure that, like my perception around is that by tracking food choices, it gives me ultimate control to be able to ensure, to be able to ensure that, you know, I can make every day work for me. See what I mean? Um, you know, whatever it is that you wanna have as your association or your, um, you know, perception, right? Just be careful to make sure that it's something that, that actually serves you, all right? So those are my five, I'll quickly go over them again. Don't see food as good or bad, right? See food as fuel for performance, happiness, lifestyle, performance, longevity, longevity, all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, like, you know, develop your own perception that's gonna actually serve you, not hinder you, okay? 
Um, there we go. Second one, all done. Make sure you have variety in your food choices. Don't stress about when you're gonna eat, okay? Eat at a meal schedule that serves you, and the meal frequency that serves you. Don't rely on routine to get results. Focus on choice. And be careful of your perception around food and exercise and stuff. So, two giant peanut butter cups done. My boy Davo, I'm gonna tag you in this because I don't reckon you could eat two of these. And boom, that's a wrap. How good is Reese's? I fucking love peanut butter cups. Um, yeah, they bring joy to my soul. They bring the party to my taste buds. And shout out to Reese's. You know, you guys should totally sponsor me. <laughs> so hopefully you took a thing or two away from the video. Thanks so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, make sure you press subscribe. As I said, I'm gonna be posting videos every single week around all sorts of areas of nutrition, training, mindset, entertainment, food challenges, there's all sorts of good stuff. I wanna make sure that you investing your time into watching these videos is gonna be worth it. So make sure you subscribe and you're notified when I go live or when I do a video. If you're a returning subscriber, drop a like and a comment below. Let me know what you liked and what other videos you wanna be seeing coming from the channel. And um, yeah, be blessed, have an amazing day. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time in the Boss Fitness world.